happy news day oil traders it is thursday september 7th and it is 8 52 a.m here on the east coast in north america and it's news day because of the long weekend that we had here uh this past weekend and instead of uh, eia coming out on uh, wednesday at 10 30 it's coming out today thursday at 11 a.m eastern which also means that we had epi api news yesterday following the close here um, on the East Coast, and it turned out to be favoring the bears. Um, so we had a we had a build rather than a draw, but not quite as substantial a build as was expected. So take that for what you will. Uh, nonetheless, the bears and I are looking for EIA to confirm that bearishness and send us lower. Um, I think that uh, if we are to go higher ultimately, um, we need a healthy pullback first. Uh, that's kind of my gut, um, which I would welcome, of course. Um, as you guys know, I've got a short at 49.20. I've also got a short at 48.60. Um, and we came very close to that this morning, reaching as low as 48, uh, what is it? 48.63. Um, um, as of right now. Um, so with my adjusted, tweaked, whatever you want to call it, strategy, um, I'm going to be trading a little bit more frequently, smaller positions, and hedging more often. Um, to that end, if we manage to hit 48 and a half, 48.50 or lower, I'm going to be looking to buy long as a hedge against the 49.20 rather than cashing out the 49.20 short position. Um, right now, of course, we're having a bit of a fight between the bulls and the bears as they decide whether or not we want to stay low or climb back up to 49 before the open. So we'll see. Um, the challenge for me will be whether or not to act before the news comes out itself. Um, so basically, my target right now is 48 and a half. If we manage to get there before the news, do I buy the long then or wait for the news? Um, my I'm kind of 51-49 in favor of acting before the news, but I haven't really made up my mind yet. So I guess you and I both will find out <laughs> afterwards when I follow up with you guys towards the end of the trading session. Of course, we've still got uh, Hurricane Irma heading in um, to the States, and uh, thoughts go out to those in the Caribbean, of course, and uh, those in Florida, which are about to be hit. Um, the bulls have had their way for quite some time. If we take a look at the one month chart here, you can see that we've been climbing since um, August 30th, since the end of August. Basically, we've been climbing pretty steadily up to, well, we almost got to 49 and a half. Um, that's almost a $4 change. Um, that's you know quite substantial. Um, it certainly looks bullish, and I wouldn't be surprised at this point if we at least attempted to hit 50. Uh, but I'd like to see a pullback before we do. Um, yeah, I guess we'll we'll see. Um, let me know what you guys have in mind. Hit me up down below on YouTube or in the comments or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more information on my portfolio, trades, charts, performance, etc. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys uh, towards end of trading um, at or before 4 p.m. Eastern time. Until then, good luck. Cheers.